What's up, Cal gang? All right, welcome back to statics. So we're gonna get started on the statics problem right here. So it says, determine the force in cables AB and AC uh, supported by the 11 kilogram traffic light. So let's go ahead and start a force body diagram on this one. So yeah, here's a force body diagram. This is X, this is Y. And let's draw our forces, right? So we have AB, it's a tension force, and it's pulling in this direction. We're just gonna label this force AB. We also have force AC, which pulls the other direction. And we also have the force of gravity pulling down. Because this uh, traffic light has mass on it, so of course force of gravity is gonna be there. So what angle do we know? We know that this is 12 degrees. We know that this is a 7, 24, 25 triangle. So this is 7, and force of gravity. Okay, so we're at equilibrium, right? When we're at equilibrium, we can write two equations in two dimensions. So if we're in three dimensions, we can write three. So our first one, uh, what are we going to start with? Let me get my paper. So we're going to start with some forces in the y direction, right? So let's write it out. Some forces in the y direction is equal to zero, right? We know that the amount of force pulling up is the same amount of force pulling down because it's not moving. There's no acceleration. So this is equal to, start with this, negative force gravity. Force gravity is pulling straight down in the y direction. So then, plus force AB, but then sine of 12 degrees. The sine of 12 degrees comes in because we're trying to find the vertical position. So because sine is opposite over hypotenuse, we're finding this right here. So force AB sine 12 is how much this distance, or how much this force is. So then let's do plus force AC. And then of course, if we don't have the angle, we could find the angle, but an easier way to do this is just use our ratios. We know that the, hypoten or the, um, the vertical distance to hypotenuse is seven over 25. So we can literally just say seven over 25 is how much force AC pulls in the vertical position direction, right? So there we go. So what we want to do now is we want to isolate a variable. Right now it's not going to make sense why we're going to do that, but later on we're going to need to have one variable by itself just for the convenience factor. So in my notes, there's many ways you can do this, right? You can isolate one variable at a time and do the other one, but I'm going to isolate force AC. I want to get this force AC by itself and everything else on the other side of the equation. So let's do that. I'm going to move force gravity over and move force AB over. So it's going to be force gravity, because it comes positive, minus force a, B, sine of 12 degrees, is equal to force A, C. And then the seven over 25, I'm gonna multiply that over, so it's gonna become 25 over seven times all of this is equal to force A, C. So there we go, we got force A, C by itself. Uh, did I do a negative wrong? Nope, okay, this is good. So let's do a force in the one, uh, X direction. Some forces in the X direction is also equal to zero, right? We're at equilibrium. So let's look at it. So force gravity is pulling straight down. There's going to be no force gravity on this. We don't have to worry about it. So force AC is negative. So it's going to be negative force AC. And then it's, we know it's 24 to 25. So 24 over 25. That gives us the ratio of the total force pulling in the X direction. All right, we just had a visitor, but let's keep going. All right, force AB, right? It's going to be plus force AB. It's pulling in the positive direction. Cosine of 12 this time. Nice, so this is our equilibrium equation. So we wanna get, again, force AC by itself. That's gonna make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna subtract this over and they're gonna be both become positive. So force AB cosine of 12 is equal to force AC. And then I'm gonna multiply this 25 over 24 over. So it'll become 25 over 24, that'll cancel out. So we have two things with force AC just by themselves. So we know force AC is equal to force AC, so that means that this equation here has to be equal to this equation here. So let's go ahead and do that. Sit down. So setting this equal to this, it's just gonna be 25 over seven. Force gravity minus force AB sine of 12 is equal to 25 over 24 force AB cosine 12. So now you'll notice here, the only unknown that we have is force AB. There's no force AC in this equation, which is great. 
We have force of gravity, but we can figure that out later. So now we want to get these force A and Bs together. So I'm going to distribute everything. 25 over 7. Oh, also these 25s are going to cancel. You notice that there's a 25 here and a 25 here, so we can essentially just cancel out the 25s. So it'll become 1 over 7 force gravity minus 1 over 7 force A, B, sine of 12 is equal to 1 over 24 force A, B, cosine of 12. So let's see how much I did in my notes here. Probably not that much. But uh, you're basically going to end up factoring everything out. Now, force gravity is what we have to consider. So one, we know force of gravity is mass times acceleration, right? So we know that the mass of the, uh, the, uh, the stoplight is 11 times gravity 9.81. And then if we, re if we move this to the other side and factor out the force AB, we're going to get uh, 1 over 7 sine of 12 uh, plus 1 over 24 cosine of 12. Then, of course, if we divide this over by that, we're going to get a number. So it'll just become force AB is equal to 219 newtons. So then we're going to, I'm just going to go ahead and erase this because I don't really need it anymore. Now we just need to find what force AC is. So force AC, we already have two convenient equations to solve what force AC is, right? We wrote this equation, right? Just have to plug in what we know. And we also wrote this equation. So this one looks like it's going to be easier to plug into, but a good test is you can plug into both of these equations and you should get the same number. If you get the same number, that means you're probably on the right track. If you get a different number, you probably got a wrong answer for this prop right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and write it into this equation, right? So force AC is equal to 25 over 24. Force AB, which we just found, 219, cosine of 12. And if you do that math, your AC is equal to 2 to 3 newtons. There you go. Uh, that's how you solve this problem. Not too tricky, you just have to know your equilibrium equations, and yeah, from there it's pretty easy. So, see you later, guys. Uh, check out my other videos if you need more help with statics. I'll see you later.